I'm going to show you how to get more views by creating a product review intro using the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. Let's power up. First thing that we want to do is add a background. So we're going to tap on the media icon. We're going to make sure that we're on the video tab. We're going to go to the location on our device where the video is. We'll tap the video we want to use and we'll tap the plus sign. Then we'll tap back and we'll tap back. Now we want to go ahead and add the image of the product. We'll go ahead and tap on the overlay icon. We'll tap on the photo tab. We'll go to the location where the photo is. We'll tap on the photo we want to use and we'll tap the plus sign. Now we're going to go ahead and place our finger over the edge and drag this out so it matches the duration of the clip above it. We want to move our playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. Now we want to go ahead and create some motion to bring the phone onto the screen. We're going to tap on transform keyframe and we're going to tap on add keyframe. So for the first keyframe, we want the scale to be one. So we'll tap on scale. We'll type one, hit done. And we want to bring the phone to the bottom of the screen because we want to bring it onto the screen that way. So we're going to tap on the Y position and we're going to change this to 1.4. And we'll hit done. Now we want to move our playhead to the position where we want the phone to be on the screen. And we're going to tap on the Y position. And we're going to type 0 0.5 and hit done. And now we want to move our phone to the left and to the center of the screen. But first we got to make sure that it's locked in at this position for about a second. So we're going to move our playhead to one second forward. and we'll tap add a keyframe. We're not gonna change any of the parameters here so that it's locked in between those two keyframes. And then we're gonna move the playhead forward to the position where we want it to be over to the left. And we're gonna tap on scale. And we're gonna bring that down a little bit. So we'll go 0 0.75 and hit done. Then we'll tap on the X position to move it over to the left. And we're gonna change this to 0 0.33 and hit done. And now we're gonna tap on back. So we want this to fade onto the screen. So we're gonna tap on fade and we'll tap fade in. And this will make it fade when it starts playing. We'll tap back. And now we want to add some text to the scene. So we're going to move our playhead to where we want the text to start coming onto the screen. And we want it to start coming on right when it starts moving to the left. So we're going to tap on the overlay icon. And we want to make sure that text is selected. And we want to use the black default text. So we'll tap on that. We'll tap on the plus sign. And it'll add it right where the playhead was at. Now we want to go ahead and place our finger over the end and drag it out. So it matches the duration of the clips above it. And now we want to change the text. So we'll tap on the text. We'll type in what we want it to say. And we'll tap on the check mark. And now we want to move our playhead forward to a position where the phone is all the way over on the left. And now that we know the final resting position of the phone, we can go ahead and move the text to where we want it to be. So we'll place our finger over it and we'll drag it over to the right some. And we'll also bring it down in size a little bit. And now we want to add an animation for the text to come onto the screen. So we're going to tap on animation. We're going to tap on in animation. And we want to use a zoom. So we're going to scroll all the way over until we see zoom. We'll tap on that. And then we want the zoom to be faster. Four seconds is too long as you can see how it's coming in right now. So we're going to change the duration to two seconds. So that should make it line up with exactly right when the phone is over on the left hand side in its final position. And I will tap back and we'll tap back. 
you can make a bunch of different types of intros using the Power Director app, and you can learn how by watching this playlist. Don't forget to smash my face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.